y'all, it's your girl Zandra. I'm sitting in the yellow chair. I have my coffee milk from Starbucks. I get a vanilla latte, y'all, with 13 <laughs> pumps of vanilla with whipped cream. Anyway, it's delicious. I just wanted to first set this video up for you, remind you to go to my website to get yourself a bracelet to bracelet your fit. You can go to www.oursquarejourney.com slash shop, or you can go to my Etsy shop to order your bracelet or one of my three self-published books today. All right, so in the video, when it starts, we're in the car because Ryan wanted for her graduation gift for us to go to Universal Studios. We have been to Florida, I feel like a million times, but we've never done Universal. So we're leaving Universal and we're headed to Huntsville Friday. Um, and so stay tuned to see what happens on this trip. I won't share all of our stops and all of those things with you because um, I'll share those in a different video. Also, I will be posting information about our trip to Universal. So stay tuned to my channel, Chats with Sandra. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. You can also follow me on all social media platforms at I am Zandra Moulton. And I hope you enjoy the video. Peace. All right, y'all, we're on our road trip to Huntsville. We're coming from Florida. Ryan has orientation tomorrow, so stay tuned so you can see how that goes. Ryan is going to college, y'all. This is our college vlog. Hey, y'all, it's your girl, Zandra. We've made it to Huntsville. This, <laughs> we've had a week in Orlando, and now we're in Huntsville for two nights. And this whole vlog is going to be all about Ryan's college orientation. So, um, thank you so much. So, y'all, stay with us on this journey. We look forward to seeing you. We look forward to having all of your comments and um, talking to you about this trip. Yeah. And then our signature dance that we will do on Sunday. Me and this girl right here. Yeah. It's late, y'all, but we got to do what we got to do. Got to get that cleaning kit out. Got to make this room feel like home. All right? She's off. <laughs> She's off to do her thing. And she has her lights on. Hey, y'all. It's your girl, Zandra. It is Saturday. It is June 29th. And we are in Huntsville, Alabama. Um, hi. We are here for orientation. Yep, that's what we're doing. Hi. Hello. Hello. Like, you talk about coincidence, like literally. Yeah. Hi, how are you doing? Good morning. Hello, good morning. I know you're tired. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we're at Starbucks, and we are waiting on our coffee so we can go to Ryan's orientation. And what's crazy is less than a month ago, we met a family from Clarksville, which is where we live, who will be attending a &M. And as we were walking into Starbucks, they were walking out. Um, both girls are in the honors program. Like, it's just so exciting to know someone, right? When you first go off to college. They might not be roommates, they might not hang out together, but at least they will both know someone here in Huntsville. So anyway, stay tuned for this vlog that we take you on for, this, for the orientation, all right? All right, y'all. So the family that we ended up running into at Starbucks followed us to the hill, and then we were able to hang out some together. And I absolutely loved it. So we got out of the car, walked up to the long lines to enter the building. Once we got in, they kind of separated us from the girls. The girls had to go handle their business. We then had to go and take a seat. And so some of these videos are just of us sitting down, getting to our seat, and the girls kind of doing what they needed to do. Um, I love that Ryan had a friend, Olivia, to kind of go through this process with her. We then separated when we needed to and then came back together when we needed to. And so this is definitely going to be a family friend. Um, and I absolutely love it. I love every part of this. So shout out to Keisha for just being um, open to this relationship. And Ryan and Olivia are going to be freshmen, y'all. They're headed to the hill.
We're glad you all made it. And I know we had people came from as far as Hershey, Maryland, Phoenix City. All right. But if you could, you know what I'm saying? For what I can do. Y'all, so what has happened is we have been in the event center getting information, talking to different people at different tables, and now we're about to load the bus to get an overview of the campus. There's a vibe, y'all. They got the music playing, they got the scholars in the building and outside, they got the family members that don't want to be here. <laughs> It's beautiful, it's a beautiful day. Okay. We shopped till we dropped with some a &M gear. Orientation is now officially over. And now we're about to go eat. Hey y'all, we're at Bad Daddy's Burger Bar. That's where we decided to eat for lunch. This trip to Huntsville, we'll let y'all know how we like it. Like always, I'm always going to give you my mom experience, my point of view, and then I'll bring Ryan. When I bring Ryan, we'll probably go up there to the yellow chairs because there's two of them close together. And when we sit down here, y'all, I have to put our chairs together. So there is one chair and I'm in another chair and I have to put them together and I don't wanna do all of that. So up there, we have two yellow chairs that I'll probably pull together. Well, they don't need to really be pulled together, but we'll sit up there and talk to you from the yellow chair. But listen, I'm always excited to go to Alabama a and because it is my alma mater. I absolutely love a and I love the renovations they're doing. They have a new project that they're about to um, um, start on. It's going to be a new student's amenities building. Like... A&M is just amazing to me, right? People have their own ideas about universities, HBCUs, whatever. I'm always excited when it's time to go to A&M. And if you watch the previous videos, you know that we've already taken a tour of the campus at Alabama A&M, but anytime that they're offering anything, and I know that my baby is going to that university, I'm all in to going and having that experience again. A lot of people got a lot from the orientation but there are also a lot of people that did not get a lot from the orientation and what i can say is i thought it was well put together and well organized um we were there on a saturday so there were way more people there on a saturday that then that is there throughout the week um there was a general session where parents sat and the kids had to go and do their thing they had to turn in transcripts or change their major or do whatever it is that they needed to do on their own. They also had to get tickets for their family members to do the little bus tour. Um, and then it was kind of general information that was given. Now, personally, we didn't need any of the general information that was given because we're already squared away, I think. However, they did share that if you had submitted like your ID picture, you can go pick it up. Like there was a lot of good information. What stole my heart at this particular store was the fact that the housing director um, called everyone down to the floor that had not received housing yet. Tell you what Sorry. happened. She called everyone down to the floor that had not had housing yet. And then it was a lot of people. If I had to guess, between 50 and 100 people went down to the floor and then she said let's go like i don't have much that i need to say to the rest of you my priority is to get housing for these students and y'all that warmed my heart it gives me chills to think about it because if i was a parent and my child needed housing then i would be stressing we are 40 days out y'all from when we drop our babies off at college and so the fact that she did that um it just warms my heart like i could i could cry about it um, so I thought that was amazing. And then afterwards, we were able to go around to the different tables. They had um, all of the majors, different majors. Tables were there so students could talk to those departments to see kind of what that major is all about. 
Um, we only needed to talk to veteran services, so we did that, and we needed to talk to the honors program. Ryan also needed her ID, but we weren't able to get her ID because the machine went down. Um, but we can go back to Huntsville. We're only two and a half hours away. We can drive back to Huntsville, get her ID, do those things, and it is okay, right? Um, but we were able to talk to people from the honors program. We were talk able to talk to Ryan's advisor. She gave her number. She was very 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 helpful we know what we need to do moving forward this week actually we have a list of things that we need to do so that we can be ready um in the next 40 days okay so after we talked to the people at the table we had an opportunity to purchase merchandise so we've spent like 180 dollars um on shirts and shorts and all of that jazz number one i am an alum but number two my baby will be there so anytime we come to the hill you know we got to represent so that was that and then they provided lunch for the students so there were over a thousand students that were there registered for the event for soar the student orientation and they provided lunch they had hot dogs hamburgers chips sodas all the fixings they had all of that we four went <laughs> we decided to forego lunch and we had lunch with one of my line sisters. Um, so we ate at Bad Daddy's Burgers. I think that was the name of it. I think that was the name of it. And I don't eat beef or pork, y'all. But they had an amazing turkey burger. I would go back there to eat their turkey burger. Anytime I'm in Huntsville and I want a burger, you best believe that on the parkway, I am going to Bad Daddy's Burgers to get me a turkey burger. It was absolutely delicious all right so we had lunch there prior to lunch we went on a quick bus tour of the campus where they pointed out information and told us about our founder so that was that that was like our trip in a nutshell and so a lot of people didn't think it was very beneficial of their time i thought it was very beneficial some parts of the information i did not need but the parts that i needed i was able to get and I think like to each his own. I thought it was very organized. It was so many of us there. I was sitting in line and at one point I heard someone say, this is so chaotic. And I was like, I was hot, like I was pissed. So I'm saying to my family, I'm like, this is not chaotic. I was hoping that they heard me. I didn't want to cause a scene because that was their opinion, but I did not think it was chaotic at all. They did have tables. Everyone was labeled. You knew who was where. They pointed out and told us before we went off um, what I can say is sometimes people make events chaotic, right? And it's a lot of us there. So you have a thousand students and you have their parents and you have their siblings or their aunties or whoever it is with you. And so with it being so many people and they are around the event center, like lines are going to connect. And anyway, I thought it was a great event. That's my take on it. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to let Ryan give you her take on it. All right, y'all, it's your girl Zandra. I'm back with Ryan and she's going to give y'all her take on SOAR or the orientation. Why are oh, you doing that? Sorry, I try to see like move one eyebrow at a time. <laughs> Every time. Every time we're together. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, it it was okay. I, I was expecting it to be something that it wasn't. I don't know. I was like, okay, so on the on the, the Flyer. E email that I got after I submitted, like, hey, I was going to be in attendance, they said there would be like a dorm tour or something. And instead of having that because of the summer and people just moving out, so they're cleaning the rooms and the dorms, they um, they just had pictures in the in the pamphlet that they gave us. But for me, it wasn't beneficial because I'm living in a soft, uh, an upperclassman dorm. So I didn't share. I didn't share her dorm. We thought she was living in one dorm, and now she's living in a different dorm because she's in a, I the honors move, program yeah. that pulled. Anyway. Yeah. So I opted to move out into the honors dorms, and because of that, I'm living in an upper class. I mean, an upperclassman dorm instead of a freshman style, like a freshman dorm. So my style dorm wasn't put in the pictures. So I I don't have a lot to go off of for how my dorm is gonna look and kind of what I need to pack. That's like why it wasn't very beneficial to me because I'd already taken a campus tour and um, the honors program has been very forthcoming with information and they've had a, like Google, um, Zoom meets and then like 
well, just a lot of Zoom meets that have had a lot of information, so I understood what was happening on that point. Mm -hmm. So a lot of what's happening for all the other freshmen doesn't really apply to me. Um, so it just, it wasn't, I felt like there wasn't a lot of, like, very, like, lucrative, um, moments or, like, interactions that would really help me move forward in my a and journey and my college journey that I didn't already have information on or have a better experience for, if that makes sense. Yeah, because we had already taken a college tour, we had already talked to people at the university when we were there, we've already had Zoom meetings the her advisor has already called her but yeah. we did have a question about like her transcripts Trans and her yeah. classes and that kind of thing but and for that it was very much so just fill out this form so that we know that you're sending it in not when you talk to your advisor uh, not though. when i talk to my no not when i talk to my advisor she said just to submit it but she also explained mm -hmm. see this is the thing this is why i'm we have very different i'm a very like i i just take what they say and my mom absorbs all the information. I just kind of hear it and I'm like, okay, well, this is what I need to do. So, when so she, she says everything and I just say exactly what I need to do. If that makes sense. Right. So at the table at the beginning where I said the kids went off and did their thing oh, and we yeah. sat. So I then just, they had to just fill out a form. Yeah, that. it was like, okay, so if you have dual or AP credits, fill out this form. Tell us you have them and that they should be getting submitted to us so we can be able to look out for them. But that was it. But when we talked to her advisor, she was like, I will be the one to, to do your classes. We will talk about all the classes that you've taken. I'll have you in the right courses. Yeah, and then she also gave us the exact number of the people. I mean, she told us she would send us the exact number of the people that I needed to call to see if they had the information already. Right. Rather than me sending it in when they already had it. And then with that, I also had to do like a form to say that I want to change my major. That, I, that was beneficial. I was able to change my major before I went into college. But then she still said, I need to have a conversation with her about that one too. <laughs> so, so that part I thought was beneficial. Like I thought a lot of information we didn't need. Like yes. I said that too. But the information that we needed, I felt like we got and yes. we know how to move forward. Mm -hmm. um, Very much so. They had initially said it was going to be from like 8 to right about, right above 5. Like prior, it said 8 to prior, um, 8, 30, 9 o'clock to prior to 5. But it, we were done like noon, right? We and were just all there. All the booths were closed. No, but like we were the last like 50 booths people in the room. started closing because people weren't going to those booths, I think. That and everybody started to leave because after they got the information they needed, they just left. Yeah, because you didn't have to stay. Yeah. But they were there as long as I think you needed them to stay. We spent like an hour shopping. Shopping? At the table for oh, yeah. t-shirts and stuff. They, they did that, I think. She didn't want a shirt, y'all. So okay, I had to get her a shirt. I anyway. wanted a shirt, but they didn't have the shirt. So I was waiting till they made okay, more. Okay, freeze. On she website. wanted a shirt, but they didn't have the shirt that she wanted. But yes. they had several options. I wanted the other shirt too. But because I'm an alum, then there were three other shirts that I purchased. And I still purchased her a shirt too. But here's the thing. I don't wear shirts a lot. Oh, I wear ones. <laughs> I don't wear shirts a lot. <laughs> I wear shirts. I want to put that out there. I wear shirts. But like t-shirts, I don't wear that. Like I just put a shirt on, like a tank top on, then throw a sweatshirt on, on top of it nine times out of ten. So when I buy a shirt now, I want to buy something that I will intentionally wear, something that I like so that I will wear it again. She, they, they keep saying that this is your school, you will end up wearing the shirt. But let's be real. I wear my CHS shirts. A, every, every time, time you I need needed, a shirt. I needed to wear it. But that was only because I was in band. If I was all at the school and I was doing something for the school, I'd wear the shirt. But I wore shirts that I liked more so than I wore shirts that I didn't like, if that makes sense. So I'd wash it and then wear it again. Okay, y'all. So then I would lose shirts and I wouldn't see them for a year. And that was because I didn't wear it. Okay, the truth of the matter is, it doesn't matter if she wears the shirt or not. What I'm trying to explain to her is she's now going to be at this university and there are going to be opportunities or times when she needs to wear an a &M shirt. There's going to be an event or something going on and she, at this point, don't feel like she's going to need it and she might not wear it. But guess what? I'll wear it. Like, I'm an alum. But like, I, I will wear the shirt. You don't have to like the shirt. No, she don't even have to get the shirt. But I don't that's like spending money if I don't need to spend the money. That's a, this, I don't that's want a different to spend video. The money. It's a different video. But that, that's what the shirt was about. It was like, if I want. But I the want whole to... shirt thing is not even a part of this video. <laughs> this video is all about your overall experience of. Well, I. It, sore. It was. I feel like it was needed, but not necessarily for me. All right. That, like I, a lot of the honors kids, I felt like.
from what my mom said from the Facebook group and from how I felt. No, let's no, not say that okay. because okay, well, I don't know who's an honor kid and who's not okay. an honors kid on the Facebook group. Oh, okay. Well, me as an honors kid, I felt like it was very unhelpful for me um, because like when it came to like most of my stuff, I feel like meeting the person behind like my advisor was nice, but like I had her email and she's very prompt about getting back okay that kind of stuff she also said let me give you my cell number don't say anything let me give you my cell number so when you send me an email send me a message and say i just I sent you an email you didn't think that was beneficial i mean i think that was beneficial i'm saying it wasn't like there like there wasn't a lot that they could really help me with or make me understand better. i didn't say that i'm just I'm, saying that's what i'm saying overall overall i felt like a lot of it was didn't pertain to me a lot of that day did not pertain to me and what i needed I, as an honors kid but you're trying to tell me that it was been no i'm not I'm i've already business. said that most of the information we didn't need yes. but the information the questions that we had i felt like was answered did you not i the questions we had were answered yes and i but said I feel, I feel she's like gonna have to watch this video a, a different like if i had asked somebody else like in a different way i feel like they still would have been answered so i don't i, like I don't think so there, yeah they're all like miss was it Car miss carla davis is that what her name she was always very prompt about answering my email whether it be a oh, two days to four days later she was very prompt very about, prompt two days I, to four days later. i've had people not answer me for about a week or two so that was very prompt for me but <laughs> school is about to start yes. and things are going to get hectic so for her to say um you know what i get a lot of emails so message me if you send me an email so yeah. I can respond to it right away. I thought that was helpful. Yes. I'm not trying to make you feel like this was like the best thing ever, <laughs> but I'm trying to get you to acknowledge the no. parts that were good a because it, like, what? she had questions about changing her major, like stressing about it, freaking out about what? not having her major right. That's not what I was freaking out about. I, you, I was freaking one out point, about you're... lying on applications because I felt like I was lying <laughs> when I did it put my actual major on there it wasn't changing my major i was worried about it was lying on paper that's what got me worried let's talk okay. about this let's talk about it let's talk about the <laughs> lying I was, wait freeze lying. dad we'll put it up we're I'm finishing a video, video real quick okay listen when she had, when she filled out her admission application she put undecided for her major since then, a year ago, she has decided what she wants her major to be. So when she's filling out future paperwork, I say, just put what your major is. She thinks that's lying. Because it's not official. They don't know that. Like, the school itself doesn't know that. So the people are going to have what's in the system, in the system. They're going to have my forms that are just Google forms saying something completely different. They're going to be like, well, is this real or is she just lying to us? Trying to get in these classes for fun. Like, what? It's so also like I can't. I don't want to. Like I don't, cause you know, paper. I need for y'all to hear me. I need for y'all to hear me, right? <laughs> so that need got put to rest because she was able to fill out a form to officially change her major. Yes, but that I was beneficial for me because if y'all hear this now, imagine what I hear on the regular. But I wasn't freaking out about it. You did until you told me to start signing off on it as my major. That's when I freaked out about it, but it wasn't the fact that I hadn't changed it actually yet. Yes, it was. The it fact was. that I was putting it on paper and it hadn't been because changed. Because she felt like it was a lie. Because I could change, I knew I could change it. I called them, I said, when can I change my major? They were like, at SOAR or at like, um, at the beginning of school. Like, go to the office and change it. And I was like, okay, I'll do that. I wasn't worried about changing it. I was worried about putting it on paper. No, I'm not saying about changing it. Form. This is what I'm saying. If it was changed, then you wouldn't have been worried about putting it on paper. Now that it is changed, okay, let's say, but let's just say, change, let's said, just say that she hadn't put it on these forms. I don't even remember what the forms are, you, right? You weren't there. So. Stop burping without saying this. <laughs> <Excuse me. laughs> on this camera. Whatever forms that she felt bad about lying about. Now that she's filled out the form to change her major, she would now be freaking out like, but I've already put it. On my mate, now I have to go back and refill it out. Uh, if she would have put undecided, no, you would have felt I like knew, you need to go back and then I would out. know that they have it in the system, it's legally changed. So then I didn't lie previously because it hadn't been changed, and I'm not lying now because it has been. All right, y'all, we're gonna end this video because it is going on and on. 
and on and on this video just this is 11 minutes and it's not even about like what it was supposed to be about i hope you guys watch to the end we can go back and forth all day long overall both of us felt I was doing my hair and then I started yawning. Both of us felt the same. Most of the information did not pertain to us. But we had questions about Veterans Affairs and we had some questions for the Honors Program. And those questions got oh, answered. No, That's no, all no, I said. Like our housing questions didn't get answered because nobody knew about housing. That is not true. What housing question did you have? Do I have it? Do we know what dorm I'm staying in? What is my dorm Stop, room? Stop. Freeze. <laughs> Do I have housing? Do I know what dorm I'm staying in? First of all, she knows she has housing. That's the first thing. She is assigned to Fig Pen. I wasn't going to name her dorms, but now we're naming them. She's assigned to Fig Pen. On her paper, it still says Fig Pen. When we talked to her advisor, we said, it still says Fig Pen on her paper she said they just have not updated it yet yes, if i talked to you that night because the advisor called them at like 10 40 at night yes she said if i talk to you then you are on the list for the new housing which is hugini yeah so why is she acting like because she don't I, know she have housing because i feel like if they hold it off too long then somebody like they're gonna actually have students in the housing and then i won't have housing and then it's gonna be like well then where am i you are assigned you are assigned to fig pen so if nothing else you are still assigned to fig pen they have not released you from fig pen and you're just waiting in the lurks okay i don't i don't know if i fully trust the internet right now it but that's just <laughs> Yeah, it just it feels like a lie. I wasn't like stressed. I wasn't stressed before. <laughs> this was a friendly chat, less than twenty minutes long, and now <laughs> follow us for more of this authentic conversation. We will update you as soon as Ryan is updated on her dorm. We know she has housing. It's Do just not. Really? Do we really? Cause I, I with the big her paperwork air. says big pen, yes. my old dorm. She's moving to Hugini. Yeah, we'll talk about this later, y'all. Thanks for watching. I hope it wasn't too long. Maybe you enjoyed this like back and forth. How I stress out, how she stressed out. I don't know. Stay tuned for the rest of our college vlogs. Oh, wait, but guys, for real, for real, I've been walking around with what am I? What am I? My nails broken in half that I have to glue back together way back with. That has nothing to do with this video. Peace. <laughs>